have you any of you been in a club before? Maybe not the pretty committee, but something that you've that you've done where you had a club. You were in a club. Oh yeah, I actually have a club every day of the week at school in high school. So um, I'm part of like S Club, which helps the community, and then I'm also a part of a new club called Lend a Hand, which reaches out and we give money to homeless shelters. And then I'm also on my school's dance team, so I guess that counts. <laughs> Um, no, I'm actually homeschooled, so I've never been in like a club or anything, but I do go to a dance studio, Simi Dance Center, so I guess that's kind of like a club, I guess, but um, yeah, that's it. I'm in a dirty book club. <laughs> <laughs> I started a dirty book club in my hometown because all the regular book clubs were getting a little bit boring, so that's my club, what the dirty book club. Yeah. We just finished Chelsea Handler's book, My Horizontal Life. That sounds very dirty. <laughs> it's very dirty and very good. Oh my God. Bridget? Um, well, I'm in an online school, and um, they actually do have clubs there. So I am in the fashion club. I am in the philosophy club. I am in, what other clubs am I in? I'm in like four different clubs. Yeah, it's bizarre, but somehow they manage <laughs> to have online clubs. Now, um, what are your highs and lows? I know like some of you are not in junior high or maybe didn't go to junior high, but what have been the highs and lows of, of being teens and experiencing that sort of life? I think every teenager kind of goes through a time when they feel like they're absolutely friendless. Even if they're not, they feel weird and they feel like they don't fit in and they're different from everybody else. And um, I think that's actually kind of what makes teens similar, is that they all feel like they're so vulnerable at some point. But um, yeah, I think that's, that's the low, but um, yeah. it's kind of the discovery <laughs> I time. hope that's not the high. I definitely agree with that. Yeah. But then again, like the high is the opposite, is when you right. have your group of friends that you love hanging out with and they make you feel so good about yourself and you always have a good time with them, it's definitely the high. Yeah. Are you guys diet and sports obsessed, would you say? Um, I'm not diet obsessed. I try to eat healthy, but um, I definitely love uh, like ice cream and all that junk food. Oh, man. Oh, yes. But um, <laughs> sports, not really, but I only dance. But um, And I also go to the gym a lot and stuff to stay in shape, but no other, no other sports. <laughs> but it, it is a problem amongst teens, don't you think, that, that you have to look gorgeous and be thin? So, so talk about that. Well, all of my friends are athletes, but we do it, I do it, and I know my friends do it because we love the sport or whatever we do. Like, I dance and I love it because it makes me, you know, feel free and happy. But um, people, it's sad that how obsessed we are about how we look and how we come off to others. And, uh, <laughs> like, yeah, there's definitely an image that I think a lot of girls try to live up to. And, you know, you can sometimes just feel unsatisfied, like you're not good enough and you want to exercise and eat healthy. And I think that, you know, you have, just have to love who you are. And it's really good to exercise and to eat healthy, but only do it because you want to, and not because you feel inferior. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the message in this movie um, that's come across, would you say? Oh, it's definitely to be yourself and be around people who accept you for that. Yeah. Because... Claire goes through the whole thing where she tries to be someone she's not to fit in with the pretty committee, but then as soon as she realizes that she doesn't have to pretend, she finds Lane, and then we become, to, we accept her once she, uh, be, once she, be, start over. <laughs> once she is herself, the pretty committee accepts her for the way she is. Yeah. And also, you don't want to pretend to be something you're not and make these friends that don't love you for who you really are. So you want to be yourself and be confident within yourself. And also, I would say that one thing I am trying to show with these books is how hard it is to stay on top. And the Pretty Committee is constantly struggling to be number one and to stay on top. And I'm trying to show girls that it's a lot of work and it's, it's a lot of struggle. And maybe it'd be better to just read about girls that want to work that hard <laughs> to stay on top. And you can just then go about your business and be happy. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> Not great. Not work so hard. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay.